Good morning, good morning. Welcome to part two of Decluttering My Wardrobe. So if you haven't already seen part one, I actually don't even recommend that you watch that first. You might actually not even need to watch it, to be honest, because this is kind of a separate video, but also the same video in two parts. So today I am going to be sorting out my shelving unit here. So for the moment, it is kind of looking a little bit spring. Like we've got some espadrilles and stuff on there. We've got some lighter colors and stuff, but it's basically my winter one with the odd piece chucked on kind of in... A subconscious attempt to make it look a bit more spring but what I'm gonna do today because I've obviously got all the time in the world right now is I'm going to make it into my full spring like situation and I also need to get all of my summer clothes and my spring clothes out of boxes at the back of my wardrobe and switch out a few different bits so for example that is all like scarves and stuff up there so that needs to switch out for maybe some like more summery focused pieces I don't really know what I'm gonna do at the moment I'm gonna kind of wing it and see what happens um what I might do is actually put like my small summer bags in there because I have like some small like little handbags and stuff that would fit in there quite easily but that is my job for today. I'm going to tackle that and I'm going to tackle my cupboards and make sure that everything is kind of winter in one cupboard, spring and summer in the other cupboard and sort it all to look a lot more cohesive. So, so if you haven't seen the video from the other day, I kind of roughly tidied this. So like I sorted everything out, but I haven't actually touched any of the clothing in here. And this one has actually become a bit of a situation. So it's got all my new in pieces here, which probably need to go out on the rail. This is all bags down here that need to go out. My washing basket is overflowing. And basically I just need to really sort it and make sure that it is fully spring sorted. So my plan of action is to sort the wardrobes first because I think once they are sorted into winter and spring summer it's going to be a lot easier for me to go through the kind of exposed wardrobe situation because once that's all tidy I can really see what I've got and then I can tackle that which is going to become my spring capsule wardrobe. So what happened when we sorted this out was that was actually my winter capsule wardrobe and that was the piece that I grabbed the most, the piece that I pair with everything and that was kind of what I reach to and what I style from the most which is what it's going to be for spring. So it'll be a lot of dresses and lighter jackets and like t-shirts and stuff are going to be folded onto there and all the pieces that I wear a lot. So yeah, let's get going, shall we? First up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the wardrobe here, which is the one that has most of my clothes in, and I'm going to take out all of the winter pieces. So all my jumpers, all my kind of velvet dresses and anything that is like heavily winter. So basically everything I won't be wearing in spring and summer is going to come out and this is just going to become stuff that I will wear in spring and summer um, left in. So a lot of this to be fair is actually spring and summer stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to hang this all here for now. That is also coats and stuff because I'm going to be basically putting all of those into the winter wardrobe. That is essentially all of the stuff that I'm keeping in here for spring and summer so far. There is a few more bits in a box, but we're going to tackle that in a sec. So that is now just spring with all that hung there. There is logic and method in my madness. Like I'm doing this in an order for a reason. <laughs> okay, so this is a box of bits, which is at the back of the wardrobe. And this is basically full of summer dresses, shorts, like everything that I basically only wear when it's summer or it's warm or I'm on a holiday or something. So it tends to come out quite a lot when I'm traveling around and obviously would have been out a lot more had I have gone on the various trips that were planned. But I'm bringing it out now because I'm gonna make sure that everything is hung up and in my wardrobe. And I'm gonna switch it out for my scarves and stuff which are up there so what I'm gonna do is just take these all out and get them all kind of hung up and then pop the scarf straight in now this is basically my entire wardrobe from Qatar if you haven't seen the Qatar video I strongly recommend watching it because it's honestly such a nice video like it was one of the best trips I've ever been on but I obviously put everything straight back into a summer box because it's all like big floaty dresses and stuff but I'm going to get them all out of hiding and pop them all in my regular wardrobe now. There's quite a lot of like pairs of shorts and stuff in here because obviously like linen shorts and things you can't really wear and like I mean I could have worn these but these are basically like just super summery shorts that I don't really tend to wear unless it's summer and obviously like denim shorts and stuff so 
they're all going to be coming out of hiding. <laughs> Okay, please tell me I'm not the only girl in the world who owns like this many pairs of denim shorts because I have a lot of denim shorts. In fairness, it's like a mix of different styles. So some of them are like loose fit, tight fit, etc. But it's a lot of denim shorts. <laughs> Next step is to get down the scarf and glove box. And what I'm going to do is take all of the gloves and scarves and stuff out and put them in here. So this box basically is like my seasonal changeover. So sometimes it's got summer clothes, sometimes it's got winter clothes. And obviously, depending on the season, I switch it out with the basket, which is actually a really handy thing to do. Although obviously it gets put like summer bags and stuff when it's not in winter. So I'm gonna take out all of my hats and everything and pop them in here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is pop all of my summer bags into here. So all of the kind of light colored, easy, small carry bags go in this. And then I do actually have a bottom shelf down here, which is where I normally put my designer ones. So like my Loewe basket bag will go down there, like my Marc Jacobs snapshot bag and stuff, all the really like summery designer bags, just so they're on a shelf and they're not kind of tucked into a basket. So I'm gonna pop all of my high street kind of ones into here now. Quite a few little different ones and I think they're all gonna fit quite nicely to be honest. Some of them are like really flimsy and stuff, so they can fit super easy. They're just really small and handy. And then I've got obviously like ones like this and little mini tiny ones like this. So bags like this where they don't really stand up and they don't really have any at home in my room. They're just really handy to pop in something like this because it keeps them out of sight, but it also keeps them easily accessible. And then I've actually got some scarves and stuff here, which I'm gonna pop in the corner as well because these are things that I grab quite a lot. Sometimes I tie them in my hair, sometimes I tie them around my bags or use them as tops or whatever it might be. I just tend to use these quite often and they're just handy to keep in this box because the other ones that I've got are actually all tucked at the back of the cupboard and I probably do need to get them out because I do use them a lot. Right, next step is to put all of the wintry scarves and stuff back in the back of the cupboard and then tackle the wardrobe situation once that's back out of the way in the cupboard. Okay, this looks like such a shambles at the moment, but basically what I've done is I keep all my suitcases tucked at the end of this cupboard and then I've got like random crap down there. And then all of my blazers and really lightweight coats live in there. And then we have a cupboard downstairs where we put all of our like big winter coats and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of my really wintry stuff into here. So I don't know if you can really see, but at the back you've got my swimwear and my um, scarves and stuff there with my camera boxes on top that I need to keep for like if I ever need to repair them or sell them or anything. So I'm going to start going through and pulling pieces that are going to go back in here including some knitwear but I'm undecided as to whether knitwear should be hung for that long. Um, so I'm thinking I maybe need to come up with like a box or something that I can put my knitwear into. I just don't know where that box is going to come from. I've just found this box from when I cleared out the other day and it's quite a big box. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is put all of my jumpers that I won't wear until probably like September time now, because there is some that are like really wintry and they just aren't good for spring. Whereas like some of them, like this one, for example, I wear quite a lot, whereas this one's a lot thicker and not very spring appropriate. So I'm gonna pop them all in here and tuck them behind my trouser unit in the cupboard. So they're still in the room, but they're like tucked out of the way because I think like a lot of people, I don't have like an attic space where I can put stuff vacuum packed into suitcases and like hide it all. It has to kind of still be in the room and not necessarily tucked away. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all my jumpers into here. What ones have I even got here? Yeah, so for example, this one is very kind of autumn wintry and I probably won't be wearing it much right now. So I'm gonna tuck that one away until the winter time comes around again obviously keeping them all folded. This I actually think can go because this is a really old bobbly one. I've got this one which is from the Couples and I love it. It's a bit dusty where it's been on the shelf but I don't know if this is necessarily very spring appropriate because it's quite like, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe this should stay because it is actually technically a spring knit because like I would still wear this in spring with white jeans. Maybe I keep it out. I'm gonna keep it out. That's gonna be a maybe for now. 
Okay, big chunky black knit, do not need for the season. <laughs> this grey one's nice and lightweight, so I don't know whether to keep this out because grey is quite a good colour for spring. So I might keep that one as another maybe. This one I'm like, it's a bit of a sad tale. It was really super soft and really snuggly and really oversized and I shrunk it a little bit in the wash so now it's not as oversized. But I still do love it and I still want to wear it so that's going to stay out as well because that is a spring colour palette. Another chunky knit. What I am going to do though is keep out all of my big chunky cardigans and stuff because I wear them a lot as loungewear and even though they are kind of more winter focused, if I'm wearing them a lot as loungewear I might as well just keep them out because I'm still going to get use out of them. So I'm just going to tackle what is on the little rail thing behind you, pop those into here and then this little box of knitwear is going to go into hiding. <laughs> Alongside popping all the chunky knitwear in here, I'm actually going to put in my velvet and my sparkly blazers, which are kind of more Christmassy, and also my kind of more ball gown dress, which is the one I wore to the BFAs. I'll leave a picture of it here. So it's this like really heavily beaded dress, like it's literally so heavy in here. But I'm going to pop this into there as well because I think I'm not going to wear it for another few months, so I might as well just keep it out of the way and just let it kind of be in the cupboard. I don't even think it's on the hanger anymore. I actually need to get this out and have a look because. I actually have a feeling it's completely fallen off the hanger. Yeah, we've lost like the whole dress. So it's this one, if you remember. It's really pretty, it just is something that I'm gonna wear on the rarest of occasions. So I might as well put it into hiding for now. It was actually only 150 pounds in Miss Selfridge, which I'm kind of loving because it was one that I wore for a fancy event, but obviously it didn't break my bank account at the same time. So I've sorted all my jackets and blazers into here now and basically put everything in kind of order of colour slash what it is. So I've got my leather jacket and my denim at the front and then I've got all my blazers and then my kind of coat situation at the back. But they're all ones that I kind of still wear in spring anyway. It's just that I put them all in there so I know exactly where they are and I don't have to try and find them elsewhere. So if I'm looking for a blazer, I can just pop into the cupboard and find one straight away. So what I'm going to do now is go through and sort out this and get everything put in here. The only thing I am going to switch out is all of the like leather shorts and stuff that I wear more so in autumn. I'm going to actually hang and put into this one because I don't really want them on the shelves that all of the kind of denim skirts and shorts and stuff go on when that's what I would really be wearing more of in summer and spring anyway. So that is my task for this second. And then obviously this is getting progressively worse looking but that's because I'm sorting it last and I'm just not even going to think about it for right now. Ready for this? We're going to tackle all the shorts. So I somehow need to put them all on my little arrangement situation obviously leaving all the denim because i still wear my denim quite a lot in spring and summer and i don't see the point of separating it all into different places when it can just sit in one place and not move so i'm thinking that there might be a slight change around in terms of i just don't know how this is all going to fit if i'm completely honest i think some of them are going to end up going on my rail because i'm obviously going to want to wear them quite a bit more than others so for example i actually might take out my which skirt is it that i wear more I have two skirts that are really similar and one I wear more than the other. I think it's this more yellowy one. So that one's gonna go on my little rail. But what I'm gonna do is sort everything back onto here basically. So starting with the dark and then going up to the light. So I've got like denim skirts, which I'm pretty sure this is never gonna fit me again. This is like a tiny, tiny, tiny Topshop skirt that I've had for years and I actually don't think my thighs are fitting in this anymore. But I still hold on to it because one day I might fit back into it, you never know. The worst mentality to have, but you just never know, do you? So let's go with dark first. So I'll put my little denim shorts and the denim skirt on the bottom. Okay, so we've got dark first, then we're gonna go in with the leopard pair because they're the darkest other type of short. You might recognize these from my Disney videos because I wore these in Animal Kingdom, obviously. So they're gonna go in next. Then we're gonna go in with 
these so this is to be honest a skirt that's actually going to go in my winter wardrobe because it's thick wool so we've got this kind of wrap skirt here which is also black and this is going to go i don't know whether to hang it actually maybe i'm going to hang that one i'm going to hang it otherwise i'll forget i've got it so we're going to go in with the blue denims so blue denim i just have three pairs of shorts so i've got like a turnover pair i've got really 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 ripped ones which are actually my favorite ones because they're just super oversized and comfy and then i have some that are like slightly less ripped that are just more cash all from zara zara denim shorts are some of my favorites then we'll go in with those because they are just plain blue and then let's go in with the white denim that is quite the stack of trousers there but that's basically then all of my tops all of my tops all of my shorts and stuff and then i've got this pair of linen trousers which need to go on the trouser shelf because obviously i'll be wearing these into summer i tend to wear these with actually like um lightweight knits and stuff because they're just really easy to wear and super 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 comfy and that is that shelf done and then as i said i'm going to hang those and then put the other skirt away in the other part of the wardrobe and then we're going to tackle this bit oh i also forgot to mention that i put in the back of here my winter bits are under there that's all my disney stuff then we've got bags and then like shoes and boots and stuff that have come off the rails so that's all now sorted yeah stop procrastinating jess sorted apart from the odd like cami and stuff that actually should be in a different place but i've basically done it so it's jumpers color coded tops color coded and then like dresses and play suits and stuff and then i actually have a drawer over here which is all of my like long sleeve tops t-shirts body suits and crop tops in there which is why sometimes my rail looks a little bit empty because that's where i keep a lot of the other stuff and then this is all like loungewear or swimwear that needs to go away so is that, but that's like different locations. So like swimwear goes in a box, loungewear goes downstairs, etc. So I'm now gonna tackle the rail and basically try and put the rail pieces in and then I'm gonna sort the shelf pieces. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna tackle the rail part now and I want to try and make it as capturely as I possibly can. So all the pieces, I'm just gonna tuck my hair back in. So all the pieces that I wear on a regular basis and get out on repeat, so like continuously wear throughout the season, including some bottom halves as well. So first things first, I'm gonna go in and pop this jacket because this is actually new in from River Island, which is gonna be in a haul coming, I think at the weekend. And it's basically a really nice lightweight kind of sage green suede -ette jacket which i know that i'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of this season because it's just a really nice like slouchy fit and then i'm actually going to find my cream blazer because i think that's another really good piece to pop in because cream blazers are a staple and they are something i wear all the time in spring okay here we go so this is the one i've pulled out i actually do have like four this one is h&m it does have a weird stain on the shoulder which a lot of people said it might be the hanger but it's not i think it might be serum or something so i need to get it out but that is the blazer that i'm going to pop on there for now because it's just really nice and lightweight and really easy to wear and then i'm going to put this jumper which is a really nice chunky oversized cardigan that you guys have loved on instagram I'm trying to switch out my hangers at the same time because I don't like these hangers on here. I like wooden ones, but the wooden ones that were on there are now in here, so I have to like switch it out. So that's gonna go on there. And then what I think I'm gonna pop on next is looking at my wardrobe, maybe a shirt dress because I feel like that is something I definitely get a lot of wear out of in the warmer months and I can layer it up with different pieces. So my linen and my shirt dress are two that I really, really do wear a lot. I put jumpers and stuff on them or cardigans and whatever so i'm going to get those both out then we're going to go ahead and pop this on which is just a really nice cream shirt it's getting very cream though so i feel like i need to mix in some alternate colors in there maybe my brown mm, no my gray jumper is going to go on the shelf this is when it gets really tricky because i like it to look aesthetic at the same time as being practical so we're going to pop the denim skirt on for now because that is a very key piece 
and I'm actually going to go in with a leopard print dress that I got in from Lovies the other day which is a puff sleeve number it's really really cute definitely one that I'll be getting a lot of wear out of in the season so I think this is definitely going to go in the cupboard and to be honest it actually does need taking up a bit because it's so so long but on the model it was like to her thigh and on me it's like to my knee but I need to take it up and then it'll be perfect Okay, we're going to pop those t-shirts on there for now and they are actually going to be folded up in a second and then what i'm going to do is have a knitwear shelf the t-shirts and then i'm going to have jeans up there and then the top shelf is going to be who knows probably like my espadrilles because i've got three of the exact same pair and i think it might look quite cute at the top so black we're going to go in with this top from new look which is great for spring it's like a little puff sleeve number which is super super cute and i'm just going to slot that in on the rail there I'm a slacker for like styling the rail as well as just putting stuff on so that's why it's currently kind of trying to look a bit more cohesive. Then we're going to put this ASOS one on because this is a really good lightweight knit that I really really love. I wear it quite a lot and it's great for layering up with bralettes and stuff in the spring. So I'm going to pop this on here as well. And then I'm going to pop my wrap skirt on as well because again really great skirt that I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this season. Okay the last thing on there is going to be this little wrap top from And Other Stories which is just a really cute little wrap one that was in my loungewear video and this is one I wear quite a bit so I'm going to pop that on the end there. And then that is for the most part what my rail is going to look like. It might potentially change around a little bit depending on what I end up doing. Okay knitwear I'm going to do four because that will, is what will fit. I'm going to go in with two coloured ones and two neutrals. So first up we have this green knit from And Other Stories. Actually, every single knit I'm putting on the rail is And Other Stories. Cool, and then there's my knitwear sorted. And then like I said, I'm going to sort my t-shirts out for there and then I'm actually going to leave that space for my camera because that's just where it lives. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the finished one side so as you can see the rail is kind of more neutral we've also got the little bits of black in there the creams you've also got the slight bit of sage and then as you work your way up there's also a little bit more sage here so we've got like my key knits for the season alongside white ones which actually aren't out here but i'll probably switch these over as and when needed and then these are the colors of t-shirts that i'll probably be wearing a lot of and to be honest that is kind of my core t-shirt collection and there's also a blue jumper which i haven't put out because it is bright blue it's this one here and it's just a bit garish so I don't want to put it on the rail but I'm going to tackle up here now so I think what I'm going to do like I said is put my espadrilles up the top then have my jeans on that shelf and then sort out all of these Okay, I've discovered that my belt box fits there, so that is the new home for that. So I've got my espadrilles up the top, a belt, and then jeans, and then this is my next task. When we designed these shelves, we basically designed them so that boots could fit on the top and then smaller shoes at the bottom, because obviously Sam also has the same distancing on his, just so it looks aesthetic. And I'm thinking that for the most part, the boots are gonna stay the same. All I'm gonna switch around is these ones for the chunky new ones, because these are my new office ones, which I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. So I want those to be on here. And then I might actually eventually end up taking these off and putting my lace up like chunky boots on here as well because they do get a lot of wear in the summer um yeah right this shelf i'm gonna go ahead and pop these really chunky babies on the bottom because they are absolutely ginormous they're the doc martin ones i just showed you they are huge so they're gonna go on the bottom there and then i think i might have it so that maybe like that I don't know whether to have only two pairs each on the bottom two shelves or whether to have like three or do I do two 
and then do three on this one because of the fact that these are smaller okay yeah we're gonna go with that so we're gonna have three i like that it's kind of three 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 two one this is my bag shelf basically we've copied each other and done the exact same so that's the bag shelf which has my key bags for the season i'm going to make them look a bit more organized and probably pull them forward so that they're more like here just because then it's more in line with what sam's done um but that's the bags there then we've got my balenciagas on that shelf we've got two pairs of sandals on that shelf then we've got sandals and one pair of heels well mules and heels and then we've got the boots that i'll be wearing a lot then denim belts and espadrilles which i'm contemplating switching those shelves around just so it's more like cohesive with the shoes but i don't know we'll see what i end up doing or maybe putting the balenciagas up the top and then bringing the espadrilles down to that shelf hmm i can always change it like it doesn't have to stay like this it can always change but that's what it's going to be like for now guys i've done it i have officially done my room i've officially decluttered my office to the point where everything is in the right place everything is where it needs to be i can find it and this is the first time in forever but actually forever um since we moved into this house it's been an absolute state up here and even when i've done decluttering's and film videos and stuff it still ended up being not quite everything in the right place and i've been really vigilant with myself this time i've made sure i put absolutely everything back everything is where it needs to be where it should be I can find everything easily and I'm very very impressed with myself and if you haven't seen the other video then I recommend going and watching that because I went through all my beauty drawers and my office stuff and kind of did the initial part of the declutter before I sorted out the exposed wardrobe and stuff so it's worth watching but I'm so happy with it I'm really really glad I've done it and you know when you feel like you've just got that sense of like a weight being lifted like I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders because everything is now in its rightful home so I'm going to give you a quick overview of everything and show you what I've done okay we're going to start with this because I feel like I've gone through this a few times now and kind of given you the lowdown but this is now completely sorted so all my bags are on display all my clothes are out the shoes that I'm going to be wearing a lot through the season the key knitwear and t-shirts I've got the espadrilles and the jeans so these are basically my three most worn pairs of jeans in each shade so like my most worn black blue and cream and that's just how it's going to live I've got my bags up there and my camera which I keep out just because I use it all the time and then when you go into this end cupboard here this is my kind of winter one so that side is just a suitcase and some other bits and then this is basically as far as it can go this is my winter bits and obviously some of these are still slightly summery so I can bring them out but I put them in here just so it's all my jackets together and my kind of wintery bottom half so woolen skirts leather shorts etc um, that's all very organized now which I'm really grateful for and then this one is basically my summery and spring bits so you've got my jumpers tops and then play suits and dresses shorts and skirts trousers jeans and then these are my white trainers which are brand new but I always have a white pair of trainers so these are going to be my new ones to wear all the time and they don't fit on the rail over there so I thought that's quite a good place to put them because I'll normally put them on jeans so that is now all organized and then behind there we basically have three boxes so one is full of all my other bags one has all of my no four boxes so one big box with all my winter like jumpers and stuff that i won't be wearing till next autumn winter then there's a box of disney bits so like the jumpers and stuff that i wear to the disney parks then we've got a box of bags and a box of other shoes so other trainers and bits and pieces because obviously realistically that isn't all my shoes but i can't put every pair of shoes i own out so that's just the ones that i wear the most but i'm really proud of myself i think i've done really well to do all of that and i'm really glad i've done it because now i've got a full day of filming videos and it means that everything spring related is going to be much much easier so i'm going to run downstairs and grab a coffee and if you haven't seen part one please make sure you do if you loved this then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and if you got this far in the video leave me a comment and let me know your spring essentials so one thing in your wardrobe that you cannot live without in spring whether that's a denim jacket or a pair of trainers or blue denim or a nice cream jumper whatever it is let me know your spring essential mine without a doubt is white denim white denim jeans are my go-to in spring and that is something i know i'm gonna be wearing a lot of but thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye